All right, what we're going to go over today is I'm going to do a uh, tutorial on how to make yourself more anonymous while searching the web uh, on your Mac. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go down to Safari. <clears throat> you're going to go to whatever your search engine is. You're going to go to the box. You're going to type in Firefox. Okay. If you go to Google, it uh, should be the first link. Go ahead and click on it. And then there's a big button, and go ahead and download and install Firefox. Okay? Uh, you can read a little bit about it on their website. But uh, we're pretty much using Firefox so that we can use another program. Okay? Um, go back to your search engine, and you're going to want to type in Vidalia, like the onion. Okay? So just type in Vidalia and hit return. Okay? If you're going through Google, it'll be the first one up. Uh, it'll be the first search result. If you're not, look for this. Uh, look for uh, torproject.org slash Vidalia. Okay? And so go ahead and click on that. And here's the page. Um, pretty much what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download the Mac version. And what this is, this is like a proxy service that's run through the program Vidalia. And it lets you, uh, you know, uh, it, it hides your IP address from uh, people looking for it i.e. your cable provider when you're downloading or pirating something. Okay, so we'll go ahead and you're going to click on that, you're going to download it, and you're going to install it. Okay, so now we are going to be done with Safari. So after we've downloaded Vidalia and we've downloaded Firefox, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up Vidalia. So you're going to find wherever you put Vidalia um, and you're going to open it. Okay, I already have it open. And what it does, when you first open up Vidalia, it go ahead, it loads up all your proxies that you're going to be using. Okay, and there's some different options. There's nothing you really need to mess with. Every now and then you can click uh, use a new identity. And what that'll do is it'll just switch to a different IP address that isn't yours and make people think that it is. Okay, I thought this was kind of cool. You could view the network and it shows you all the people that are using the service at that time and you know the different connections that you're going to be connected to. That was kind of neat. So after we open this up, we're pretty much done with it. You just go ahead and leave it open. You can minimize it if you want or just leave it up. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up Firefox. Okay? Um, Vidalia works with Firefox. It doesn't work with Safari and so that's why we're using Firefox. And so what you want to do is uh, if it's not already up here, which I don't think it will be, there is a button Okay, it's the Vidalia button. It may not be up there yet. So to make sure it's up there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on, we're going to go to add-ons, and we're going to go ahead and click enable. Of course, mine says disable because it's already connected, but you're going to click enable, and it should ask you to restart Firefox. Okay? Once you've done that, then you have Tor working with Firefox. Okay? Now, if you still don't see the button, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to view, you're going to go to toolbars and you're going to click on customize. Okay, now what this does, this just pulls up all the different buttons that you can put on your toolbar. And the uh, Vidalia button, the onion, will be in there and then you just take it, grab it, and stick it wherever you want, just like I'm doing with this button. Okay, so now you've got Firefox, you've got Vidalia, and you've got the Vidalia, like, quick button located on your on your dock, okay? Or, uh, excuse me, on your toolbar. Um, it, it'll be, it'll have a red X in it right in the beginning, and then you'll go ahead and you'll click on it, and that'll enable it. And you'll know it's enabled if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, it'll say Tor Enabled. Okay? All right, now we've done the Firefox, we've done the Tor, but we've done the Vidalia, and we've done the button uh, for the Vidalia inside Firefox. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to change our browser, um, excuse me, our search engine. And so we're going to change it from Google or Yahoo or whatever you're using that is totally crappy and it's logging all your information. You're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to go to www.startpage.com. And I'll put it in the, uh, the info. So the, In fact, I'm going to put all the links in the uh, info so that you can get to them real quick and easy. Okay? Now you're going to want to make this your home page. So go ahead and go to Google and type in startpage.com. And then go up to the top here and click on Firefox, click on Preferences, and then it should be right here so you can see it. It'll be under the General tab up on the top, and it'll say Home Page and then Start Page. Now there's some other security features that you can do within uh, the Preferences here. 
such as privacy. Um, so what we're going to do is it says history. Use custom settings. No. Okay. If we're doing anything that you don't want someone using, right, never remember my history. Okay. You can go to security, and then you have these. If this one is checked, uncheck it. Remember passwords for sites. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Go ahead. Get rid of that. And then you can close out of this. So now we have our new search engine. Okay. Now the search engine is pretty neat. So if we type in dog, just do a quick search for it. Oh, and do note, every time you're using a proxy, uh, like Vidalia or Tor, whatever you want to call it, it's going to slow your connection down. Okay. So if you want to download a two-hour movie, and it usually takes you 40 minutes, with the proxy, it's going to take you 60. Okay. So just be aware. Be like, why is my internet connection slower? It's because you're 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 going through more connections to get to what you want to download. Okay. So the cool thing about the search engine is if you look on the bottom here, we can connect via proxy. And so what it says is opens the results anonymously, great privacy. So now whoop, now we're using multiple proxies to log into a website. So really it's hard for someone to get our IP address, which was the whole goal of this process. Because once somebody has your IP address, never give that out, by the way. I mean, people people don't know that. You know, I can go up to somebody on uh, Instant Messenger and be like, hey, what's your uh, IP address? And they'll give it to me, and then the next thing they know, I'm in their computer. Not that I would do anything bad, but I could, you know, look around and see all that kind of stuff. Uh, not that I do that or condone it. So, just so you know, proxies are a great way. You're never going to be totally anonymous. This is just, you know, the first step in, you know, anonymity. Uh, but there's no way to be completely anonymous. These are just some very simple steps that you can take. So... To check this out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to, uh, we're going to type in the search box, we're going to type in IP chicken. And so what this is, is uh, this is a website that tells you your IP address. Okay, so you'll know it because it'll say ipchicken.com. There's a couple of different ones on here. This this is fine. Uh, you can log in with the proxy through here. You can just log in like this since we have everything running. Okay, so this is... Uh, not my uh, <laughs> this is not my IP address obviously so this is someone else's IP address and the way we know that is because uh, well the way that you know that is if you look down here it'll say name and address okay it would you know use my address it would give my city and my state usually instead it's going through some proxy anonymizer or whatever it is okay the remote port is completely wrong uh, the browser is right um, but that's just a coincidence since it says I'm using Mozilla 5.0 on Windows. Uh, this is all being done on a Mac. So you can see that this does work. In fact, so if you remember, 173244. So let's actually go back and let's try it again and see what it comes up with. Oh, same one. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go through the proxy on here. See if it changes it again. There you go. So, I mean, just to give you, see now I'm using 64.71, whatever it is, and if we look down here, now I'm on a Linux machine. So, this just gives you a really good example on how to hide your IP address and hopefully be a little more careful on the internet. This uh, definitely comes in handy when you are, uh, you know, doing something that you're not supposed to be doing in the eyes of your cable company. Uh, I recently got a letter uh, or my I got a letter saying that you know they had found out that I was doing something well what had happened was I wasn't using the correct browser and I wasn't covering my ass and you know now they're keeping an eye out which it doesn't matter because it'll never happen again but in those situations you know this is the thing this is what happened so now they busted me and I'm gonna make sure that everybody else doesn't get busted. So just take those tips and hopefully uh, you won't get caught. Thanks for watching. Bye.